Introducing EchoView, the world's premier software package for water column echo sounder data. The EchoView team in Hobart, Tasmania is dedicated to meeting the visualization, processing, and training requirements of the global echo sounding community. EchoView is a flexible, comprehensive, fully documented and rigorously tested scientific tool for processing data from a wide range of single beam and multi beam echo sounders deployed on any kind of platform. Echo sounders are used to detect and monitor living and non-living underwater objects and their interaction with each other. This information is essential for fisheries scientists, aquatic ecologists, engineers, fishing companies and environmental managers who are tasked with monitoring, understanding and managing marine and freshwater environments. EchoView's mission is to provide a professional quality software and support solution for all your water column echo sounding applications. For example, EchoView can provide solutions for those working with echo sounders in marine environments, rivers and lakes, commercial fishing operations, aquaculture, infrastructure monitoring and security, and research. Some of the many applications of EchoView include stock assessment for marine and freshwater fisheries, provision of inputs to ecosystem models, prey field analysis for the study of marine mammals, decision making and compliance for commercial fishing, bottom classification for habitat mapping, mapping of gas seeps, mapping of submerged vegetation, interaction of fish with dams and other human-made structures, and anything else you would like us to support. So how does EchoView work? Let's take a look by walking through a workflow that can be applied to any kind of echo sounder data for any kind of application. The workflow starts with data exploration. This is the preliminary process of visualizing and inspecting your data prior to detailed processing. Echo sounder manufacturers often write data to their own binary file formats, so we work closely with the manufacturers and the community to support the formats that you need. EchoView can read and interpret the data from a wide range of single beam echo sounder systems, including Simrad's EK60 and EK80, Biosonic's DTX, ASL Environmental's AZFP, Nortex Signature Series, and many more. Similarly, we support a wide range of multi-beam echo sounder systems, including Soundmetrics Didson and ARIS, often referred to as imaging sonars, many of Kongsberg's SWATH and omnidirectional systems, omnidirectional multi-beams are sometimes referred to simply as sonars, Teledyne Reson CBAT series, and many more. EchoView also enables you to visualize images and video and synchronize them with your echo sounder data. After data exploration comes data calibration. This is the process of establishing the correct location, time and echo strength of each measurement or sample. The location of each sample is set up through what we call transducer geometry, accessible through the platform properties and transducer properties dialog boxes. This enables support for a variety of deployment strategies. For example, downward looking from a mobile surface vessel, upward looking from a subsurface mooring, sideways looking from a fixed location, or downward looking from a diving vehicle. The echo strength of each sample is calculated as either target strength or volume backscattering strength from the echo sounder's raw measurements of voltage or power using the appropriate echo sounder equation. EchoView works closely with each echo sounder manufacturer to ensure that the measurements are interpreted correctly. The parameters required to solve the echo sounder equation, often referred to as calibration parameters, can either be read from the data file or, if these need to be adjusted based on the results of a calibration experiment, through a separate text file that we refer to as an EchoView calibration supplement file or ECS file. After data calibration comes data cleaning. This is where many of EchoView's flexible data processing tools come into play. Regions can be used for a wide range of applications, including the removal of selections of data. 
lines can be used in a similar way by specifying exclusion boundaries. And operators, which lie at the core of Echoview's data processing capability, can be applied and parameterized in a wide variety of ways. Some of the data cleaning techniques that can be implemented using operators include background noise removal, intermittent noise removal, removal of attenuated pings, smoothing, and resampling. After the initial steps of data exploration, calibration, and cleaning comes target detection and tracking. Let's have a look at some common target detection applications. Extended boundaries, such as near surface bubbles in the bottom, can be detected using lines and surfaces. And the dead zone, a region of uncertainty around strong boundaries, can be delineated using line offsets. Targets that are significantly smaller than the sampling volume can be detected in single beam echograms using one of the single target detection operators and in multi-beam echograms using the multi-beam target detection operator. These single-beam or multi-beam targets can be tracked through space and time using the fish tracking algorithm. This can actually be used for any moving point target, for example fish, krill or gas bubbles. Clusters of targets that extend throughout and beyond the sampling volume show up as 2D cross-sections on single-beam and multi-beam echograms. These cross-sections, which typically represent situations such as fish in a school, zooplankton in a swarm, or bubbles in a plume, can be automatically detected in single-beam echograms using the school detection algorithm, and in multi-beam echograms using the multi-beam school detection algorithm. For mobile multi-beam surveys, the cruise scanning mode further enables the cross-sections to be combined into 3D volumes. The next step is target classification. Multi-frequency analysis is a common technique for target classification, whereby a target can be identified on the basis of its echo strength at different frequencies. Echoview supports multi-frequency analysis for single-beam echo sounder data through the use of operators. Image analysis is another common technique, whereby the size, shape, and echo strength of 2D regions can assist with classification. Echoview provides a suite of metrics for 2D regions that we refer to as school's analysis variables. Echoview also supports bottom classification in single-beam echo sounder data through feature extraction followed by principal components analysis and k-means clustering. The final step is target characterization. This is the process of calculating metrics from the calibrated, cleaned and classified echograms. Echoview provides two ways to access these metrics. Firstly, via on-screen analysis, for example, from a selection, a cell, a region, or a track. And secondly, via export, either for the entire dataset, or by cells, by regions, or by the proportion of each region in each cell. One common and important example of a complete data processing workflow is the processing of reference sphere data for echo sounder characterization, commonly referred to simply as calibration. In addition to the suite of tools that we have already looked at, Echoview provides a calibration assistant to quantify the performance of single beam echo sounders operating in either narrowband or wideband mode. And finally, Echoview also supports powerful automation through the use of templates, and through access to the properties and methods of Echoview's tools via Windows COM, which can be accessed either through a separate computer script or within Echoview through the console. For more information on how Echoview can help you process your single beam or multi beam echo sounder data, contact us today.